Sydney. Hot seat search. Hey. For the wildest, most controversial talk television. Featuring enthusiastic participation from our live studio audience. And interviews with provocative newsmaker guests. And now, here he is. That hard-hitting, award-winning, conservative voice of television, Wally George. Hey. Thank you very much. Welcome all across America. This is Hot Seat, the program that's going to help make President Bush, yeah, America, and America. We're going to help make President Bush and Vice President Quayle America even better. Hey, you know, I am the only conservative talk show host on commercial television standing behind our great president, Ronald Reagan, who has made America as terrific as it is today. I have people saying, why? Why are you always standing up for Ronald Reagan and always tearing down Duke Caucus? <laughs> well, I'll tell you why. Because I know that if we get Duke Caucus in there, it, it could be doom for America, right? And I think for America, I'm not, I'm not partisan, am I? No. I'm just being a good American. I happen to think that we must continue under George Bush, the Reagan revolution. All right. Welcome, everybody. Call all your friends and tell them to tune on Hot Seat. Uh, tonight, we got a wild show wherever you're watching us across America. Let me tell you, we have the most fantastic studio audience. And tonight, we have a marvelous audience right there. They're great. There they are. Now, on the show tonight, we have some real lunatics on the show tonight. We... To begin the show, we have, we have a maniac who's coming on here, Larry Rice, a, a lunatic liberal, and he's a gay rights activist. He's down here to try to persuade me that there should be legislation enacted in this country allowing gays to legally marry each other. among other sick things. And then we have, we have the leader of a satanic cult. Can you, uh, and, and he's coming down here, yeah, yeah, we should burn him, he's right, yeah. He's coming down here, he's trying to convince us that God does not rule the universe, the world, but Satan rules the world. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell this freako that this is this world and, and this this is God's country, and these satanic perverts should be kicked out of the country. We don't need satanic cults because we should have people spreading the word that God is what's ruling us here. Okay. All right. Now, before we get to my, my opening commentary of the night, it's time to introduce our great crew. By the way, David Kennedy will not be here tonight. Oh. Oh. Now, he has the weirdest excuses for not showing up. Believe it or not, he called me about an hour ago and said, Wally, I can't come down tonight. I was bitten on the eye by a black widow spider. Oh, oh come on. He, he's got, he's got the, he must hire writers to make up excuses why he doesn't come down here. Okay, okay. Anyway, uh, in the booth, our fine director, as always, my good friend, the very talented Kevin uh, Little, everybody. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Little. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, my very beautiful wife and my, uh, and my producer, <laughs> Janice George. 
Jack. Charge, okay. All right. On the floor tonight, he does a little bit of, of everything. Our floor director, Mike Goulding. There he is. <laughs> Oh, ho, Michael, you've, you've coached them a little bit, I see, Mike. Uh, okay. okay, now, everybody, it, it's time. Let's hold it down the audience. Everybody at home, turn your volume up. In fact, open your windows so the neighbors can hear, okay? <laughs> because it's time for my opening commentary of the night. Everybody pay attention. Michael Dukakis <laughs> has made a lot of wild, crazy statements, but this one really takes the cake. Now, now here it is. Uh, Kevin, can we get a picture of this, please? Here it is, the front cover of American Rifleman Magazine. And here are the words of Michael Dukakis. June 16th, 1986. He says, I do not believe in people owning guns, only police and military, and I'm going to do everything I can to disarm this state. Oh! oh. Come on! As governor, as governor of Massachusetts, July, June 16th, 1986, he says people should not own guns, and he's going to do all he can to disarm the state. Now, he wants to take guns away from citizens in Massachusetts to be unable to defend themselves against crime. Wait a minute. He wants to do that uh, as, her, as president of the United States. Dukes would want to disarm the entire country. That's right. Hold on. How dare, how dare he even propose such a ludicrous thing, the disarming of the people of this country certainly have the right to keep arms and protect them. Yeah. Now, when Dukakis makes the statement that only people, only the, the police and the military should own guns. Does he really think that the criminals will give up their guns? No way. This is just, this is just Dukakis's ACLU mind working overtime. This is just one more important reason why Dukakis will never, ever be president of the United States. I'll be right back. Fantastic, enthusiastic audience. Welcome back, everybody, to Hot Seat. Don't forget, if you're watching me here in Southern California, please join me every day, Monday through Friday, uh, from 4.30 to 5, uh, right here on 56 in Los Angeles. 4.30 to 5, I do a commentary every day here, and uh, we take your phone calls. Monday through Friday in Southern California only on Channel 56. Okay, now uh, it's time for, are you ready? The Mailbag! <laughs> Our first letter comes from uh, a little dimwit named Debbie. Bimbo. Listen to what Debbie has to say. Wait, she says, Wally, I'm upset over the way you treat the guests on your show. Oh. She said, she says, you always yell at them even when you know they're right. Oh, come on. Hey, let me tell you, hey, let me tell you something, Debbie, you little bimbo. Hold on. My guests are never right. They're always wrong, and I am always right, and you're out of here. Now here's a real, here's a real nutcase. 
Hey, it's from a guy named Kermit. Oh. He says, he says, Wally George, you are the biggest fool on television. Wait a minute. He says, you have no right to belittle the Ayatollah Khomeini, Michael Dukakis, and Teddy Kennedy. They are all great leaders. Oh, come on. I'll tell you what you are. You are a stupid pervert. You're out of here. Here's a great letter that I got a kick out of from a, from a girl named Vida. Uh, she says, Dear Wally, I am one of your many followers. I really enjoy the hot seat. By the way, you have a lovely wife. I'm sure Janice married you because of your beautiful head of hair. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Our first... Question, Hi, Wally. Yes. How you doing? Um, I'd like to know what you thought about the debate. Can I have your name? Okay. The debates? The debates. I liked both of the debates. I think that during both of the presidential debates, George Bush showed the nation why he should be the next president. Yeah! And, and Dukakis showed the nation why he should run for dog catcher. Yeah! Okay, yeah. Oh, hold it. Yes, sir. Hi, my name's Tom. I'm yes, wondering Tom. why you and Janice still run for the White House. Well, I'll tell you what. As soon as George Bush uh, finishes his term, we just might run. Okay. Yes. Hi, Wally. I'm Mitch. Yes. I like to. I like to. Uh, do you think that the U.S. should team up with the Russians in our space program? I don't think we should team up with the Russians on anything. I don't trust them one tiny bit. And like Ronald Reagan said a long time ago, I still believe it. They always have been. They always will be the evil empire. Yes, yes. I'm yeah, Brian, and uh, as you know, uh, greatest Ronald Reagan. He's going to be leaving office in a few months, and I was wondering if you know opinions on. His eight years in office. Eight years of Ronald Reagan have indeed been a revolution. They have made proud Americans again. Ronald Reagan has brought morality and decency and patriotism back to America, and he's made USA number one. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Wally George here with Hot Seat. Uh, another Saturday night. Don't forget to tell all you're here every night at this time, 11 o'clock till 12 midnight, here, Los Angeles, all across this great country of ours. Yeah. You people here are watching us in Southern California. Please remember, we're on the radio every Monday night uh, on KLAC 57 on the AM dial. This Monday night, we're going to be on late. We'll be on right after the Kings game uh, from 9.30, approximately 9.30 p.m. until 12.30 a.m. KLAC 570 on the AM dial. Join me this Monday night right after the Kings game, KLAC. Now, uh, it's time for my first guest of the evening. And you know, this guy is a real Looney Tune. He really is. <laughs> He's always, he's always on the wrong side, and now he's really gone way off, uh, off the cliff. He, he, his name is Larry Rice, and he says gays should have the right to marry each other. I want to know what gives you the right to tell a gay he can or can't do anything, Wally. Hey. Gays are guaranteed the right in the Constitution to live their lives without molestation from you. Oh. Which, which is, hey, I'll tell you something. That's, that's a, probably a pretty good choice of words, as a matter of fact. Hey, let me tell you something, sweetheart. You know, you got to watch that. You mess with me, buddy. I not only will... Just just, just just watch out who you're taunting, Wally. You're just liable to step over that line. Oh. oh. You know what? You know, hey, hold, you know, hold, hey, you know what? I bet, hey, hey, I bet he stepped over the line many times in West Hollywood. Hey. Hey. 
I don't come on here to be ridiculed, okay? If you can't stick to the subject and lay off the personal no, attacks because I don't appreciate it. Oh, he doesn't appreciate it. Now, I want to ask you, why would you want, hold it, why would you want to destroy the sanctity of marriage? Polly, I don't want to destroy the sanctity of your marriage. I don't want to destroy the sanctity of, of anybody's marriage. I want to let people who want to join together for the future in a lifetime of matrimonial oh. bliss to, to do it. What gives you the right to tell me I can or can't do anything? Do you know what I mean? Do you mean to tell me that, that, that you want it to be legal in America for men what to is, marry other men? What is marriage? Marriage is a contract. That all, that's all it is, Wally. If, if you want to make a contract with somebody to live your life with them, so be it. What's wrong with that? What, well, ho, don't you realize? What does the Constitution say that you can tell who can get married and who can't get married based upon sex? I say, listen. Don't I'll you believe in non-discrimination? Here in the United States of America, we don't want perverts marrying each other. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, only, the only perverts that I know in this studio are old men who marry young girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's well, right. And you know who I'm talking about, too. Hey, hey, listen, pal. Hey. Now, maybe she should pass a law to say that shouldn't happen. Hey, hold, hey, hold on, you little thing. Hey, listen, my, my friend. How, how about old men marrying, marrying young boys? Well, you're one step away, Wally. Hey, hold up. What's your wife's name, Stanley or Frank? You know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you better knock that off. You know, can't you exist on your intellect alone? You have to make personal attacks. I'm to, why in the world are you trying to defend gays in the first place? I'm trying to defend anybody against you, Wally. You see, you want to repress every every right that we have in this country. Well, you, I mean, what, what, what you don't seem to realize is that, is that people in this country are free to do what they want without idiots like you interfering with them. Oh. You don't seem to realize that we real Americans don't want pervert well, homosexuals in America. You don't have the choice to tell me what I can do. And these jerks don't have the choice to do that either. The mere idea, the mere... I don't care if the idea bothers you or not. Just what? You know that? In fact, I hope it does bug you, you jerk. Just, just keep your sweet little mind to yourself, darling. Now listen. You and your friend in your friends in Lavender Lane. Let me let me tell you. It is it is un American. You know, I'm not going to sit here and oh. take this all night, Walt. Well, then. Hey, hey. You want to you want to be a man and talk about the issues man to man, or you want to toss around these sophomoric little how can you talk little about comments it? on the side? How can you talk about acting like a man when you're standing up for perverts? Yeah. Well, I'm standing up for rights in this country. I'm saying this. Uh, God did not intend men to marry men and women to marry women. I don't care what God intended, Wally. You don't the care. The Constitution of this country guarantees me the right and you the right to do what we want. Now, fortunately, I didn't have to pick on young girls to find a wife, hey. Wally. Oh. You know, man, if, if you have to do that one step away from young boys, I, uh, that's your problem. Hey, 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 listen to me, you, you, hey. Listen to me, you, you crumbling old fossil. Me? Look who's talking. You're, look who's talking. You're old enough. He's old enough to be my father, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know. I tell you, you what, are, I'm, I'm you not are, the one that's oh. got the long blonde hair, Wally. Oh. Huh? Huh? Do you, do you like that? Where's your earrings, Wally? Talk about jealousy. See, the thing oh, is, hold on. you're afraid of homosexuals because you're a repressed homosexual yourself. No. Let me tell you something. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know why? He makes he makes some some slams at, at my hair and my and my young beautiful wife. You know why? Because he has no hair and no wife. Well, I'll tell you what, my wife's old enough to drink at least. Your, is your wife old enough to vote? Well you just hold it. I tell these jerks to shut up too, okay? Oh. Oh.
guys better watch it too. These people, these, these guys in America are real men, aren't you? I don't know. I don't know. I, I wouldn't brag about it if they're the ones who've got the idol with the long blonde hair. Wally. Oh. Listen. And the little pink cheeks. The little pink hey. cheeks, too. And a checkered like a coat. I like that, Wally. That's good. I bet that coat goes good in West Hollywood, doesn't it? Hey. You know, this guy is so sick. Can you, he's sitting here trying to be macho, and he wants men to marry each other. Come on. Oh. Well, hold, well, I'll tell you what. Hold on. Not, that isn't bad enough. Not only does he want to have legislation passed so that gays can marry each other legally in America, but he wants them to be able to adopt children as well. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I'll tell you what's wrong Would with that. Would you rather have a bunch of homeless orphans around with no parents to guide them through this life? With hey, perverts hold like on. you praying hold on, on them down pal. at the park? Hold on, better. Better homeless than homo. I tell you, Wally, anybody as fearful as you are about homosexuals has got to have some kind of a repressed problem. Uh, I'll tell you that. Hey, the, the problem I have. You sure like to wave that hand around, Wally. Yeah. Oh. Hey, we all know what he does with his hand, don't we? Okay, now hold on. What I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say trying is this. Trying to say is right. I'll tell you, hold on a minute. Well, why don't you say it I'm instead of attacking me? Shut your stupid mouth. Well, say it now. if you got something to say. I'll say, hold on. What I'm saying is. I think I'll go on a real show. Yeah, a, a real man like Morton Downey, for oh. instance, you know. It's, at least, you know, at least he'll attack you on a man-to-man -man basis. Hey, what do you think? He probably has the hots for Morton. Yeah. Hey. And if I know Morton, the feelings are mutual. Yeah, I'll bet you do know Morton, too. Now, hold on. That's what it is. Oh, I know why you're upset with Morton now. He turns you down, didn't he? Oh, oh. That's right, isn't it? Oh, listen, we're, we're, so what's wrong with uh, with uh, homosexuals adopting a child? I'm telling you this. Giving love and comfort and support to a child in this tough world. Ho homosexual parents will only teach children to grow up to be homosexual. Now, how do you know that? How do you know that? Where do you get your statistics Hold from? On. You know darn well. You know darn well if children are hanging around with gay parents, aren't they going to become gay? Yeah. Oh, so are you, are you saying that you know the old, into coming you gay? You know the old saying, a chip off the old block, right? So what you're saying is that somebody could be talked into being a homosexual, huh, Wally? Is that hey, what you're saying? Hey, speaking of speaking of a chip off the old block, he and boy George were good friends once. I'll be right back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, we have uh, Larry Rice here, the lover of the gays around here. Now, we gotta, we gotta bring up another thing uh, uh, here, Larry. You, you also oppose a proposition here. Hold it. You, you also uh, oppose a proposition here in the state of California, and I favor it. And it's Proposition 102, and I hope this spreads all across the United States of America. Proposition 102 requires doctors in the state of California to report the names and addresses of AIDS patients to the state health officials. I'm in favor of that, aren't you? Yeah. Now, why would you be? Why would you be against because that? Because people like you that are in favor of it, what they want to do is discourage AIDS sufferers from going to doctors where they can get treated, so that it's driven further underground and so they die in larger numbers. Because you people want the AIDS people to die and continue to die because you have a fear of homosexuals. I don't want these gay AIDS carriers to spread their disease to all of us heterosexuals. Hey, Wally. Hey, Wally. 
Really? The only way somebody spreads it is through homosexual sex. Now tell That's me wrong. why you would worry That's about wrong, that. That's wrong, pal. Why are you worried I about don't, homosexual sex? I huh? don't, but he well, might worry are you about, it? about it. I'm sure you're worried. By the way, are you having homosexual the, sex with somebody? Hey, hey, are you a homosexual? Why are you? Well, then why are you worried about it? Hey, why are you worried about it? Tell me. I'll tell you why I'm. I'll tell you why I'm worried about it. Because people like you are spitting at me, and I can catch AIDS from you. You can't catch AIDS from spitting at somebody, Wally. Listen, listen to Everett Koop, the Surgeon General. Your buddy Ronald Reagan put him in there, and he swears the only way you catch it is from homosexual. Don't don't yell at me, you stupid pervert. Okay. Now, so on. you must be afraid of it. I tell you what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of these AIDS carriers spreading this deadly disease all across America. And I'm telling you this. Proposition 102 requires doctors to report the names of their patients with AIDS. And that's why we have to know who these carriers are, don't we? Wow. <laughs> now, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm not well, that's because you want to stay away from them. Right? I'm not. I'm not only. I'm not only in favor of Proposition 102, which would have doctors uh, being required to report the names and, and addresses of the AIDS uh, patients. I am in favor of isolating all AIDS victims from society until we find a cure for AIDS. Yeah. Now, why, Larry? Let me ask you. This. Why would you be a, why would you be against that when when every other contag every other contagious disease for example uh, tuberculosis whatever everyone every communicable disease you are isolated from society why not with this deadly disease AIDS why not isolate because them from society Wally, the only way you get it is through homosexual sex you're so why don't wrong you just wear a condom Wally? You, oh what is why don't you just wear a condom when you have sex out on the streets? What? He should wear one over his head. Yeah. Hold on. You are at. You are absolutely wrong. That is not the only. Hold. Do you, I'm do you know more than the Surgeon General, I suppose. You you, know, you haven't even read the papers, you stupid nitwit. What, is, what, is, what does he say, Wally? You he can, says it's impossible to catch it any other you way. You can catch it by blood. Didn't you read the story about these nurses who were caring for AIDS patients? They got a couple of drops of blood on their fingers, and they caught AIDS. Well, so, so, so where do you want to isolate these people at? Obviously not in the hospital, so the nurses won't get it. I. What do you what to do? Ship them to Devil's Island? I'll tell you what. I want AIDS victims isolated in hospitals all across America. I want them out of the public mainstream. I want to protect mainstream America from catching this deadly disease. And the only way to do that is to isolate them in hospitals. Don't you agree with that? Do you know... The homosexual community, which you're trying to stand up for, they still will not accept the responsibility as being the main, the primary carriers of this deadly disease. 94%. Where did you get that number, 94%? Where did I? I bet you pulled it right out of somewhere. I got it from the New York Times, you idiot. In the New York Times, it states 94% of the victims of AIDS in the United States of America are homosexuals, and that makes it a gay disease to me. How about to you? So I say, not only, not only should homosexuals not be able to marry, not only should homosexuals not be able to adopt children, not only should they be hospitalized if they have AIDS, but I say homosexuality in general should be outlawed in America. I don't understand, Wally, why you feel the need to protect other people in the way they run their lives. Why do you have this burning desire to control everybody? I am. Don't you feel comfortable in your own self? You have to control other people so you feel like a stud. I am trying to. I am trying to save. I am trying to save American lives, and the gays, the homosexuals have got too damn much power as far as I'm concerned. They want, they want more and well, more power. Well, you only pick on the weak people because you don't have the guts to pick on the strong ones. That's why I pick on you, the weakest yeah. of them all. Okay, okay, let's go to the audience. Let's go to the audience, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, go ahead. Yeah. Hi, my name's Greg, and I don't know what this guy's so proud of, and I didn't appreciate oh. the hairy mark either. Yeah, right Especially. on. Especially with the manly man haircut that he has, you know? Yeah. Uh, 
Go ahead. You had something to say or, or what? Yeah, I just think you're an idiot. Oh, and I think yeah. that's, that's really I think that they should he uh, cast you out of the studio. He resents. Uh, I listen to this uh, real debate here, and I think you're an idiot. <laughs> hey, Wally. Uh, let's see. I got I was gonna tell you to put the mic somewhere, but he might he like it. He ain't saying nothing. What he's saying is he he resents you talking about people with long hair. Obviously, you could never have long hair. You have a linoleum head. Sit down. Yes. My name's Tommy, and I'd just like to feel, well, how do you feel about AIDS? AIDS. How do I feel about it? Yes. It's a tragedy. Oh. Well, then why don't you want to do something? It doesn't scare you? I think, I think that does it should carry protection does when Does it, it goes scare you? Not me. It. it doesn't scare you. Not me. If it scares you, there's only one reason, pal. Oh. Oh, what are you trying to claim, buddy? Oh. Oh. You, I'm not the homosexual If the condom fits, wear it. Oh, oh okay, buddy. Hi, my name is Manuel, and I don't think they should get married. Why do you think that? What's a good reason if people get married? Because I don't think you have anybody how they should run their life. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. They do. Yes, they do. Larry, Larry, a moral society, and and it's a repressive society, Wally, filled with a bunch of spineless jellyfish like you who got to control everything in their lives so that they're not threatened. Because you're the one that's threatening, Wally. There is you everything. There's nothing more obnoxious than to think of a people that's scary. Can you imagine well, the why do you have to think Hold about it? it? Do you lay can in bed you? at night thinking about Hold it, Wally? Hold it. Can you hey, Janice, does he lay in bed at night thinking about other guys? Hey. Hold on. I know. Do you lay in bed thinking about Hold me? On. I know what he lays at night with you. Homosexual. Yeah. So a page vows, she stands there and says, I now pronounce you pervert and weirdo. So, so you're against, you want to outlaw anything in this country that, that turns your stomach, hey, right? Hey, speaking of perverts and weirdos, you're out of here. Hey, that's difficult. We're back, Wally George, with the hot seat, and we'll get to our next other ludicrous loser. But, but first of all, I want to remind all you people watching us at home, wherever you are across this great country of ours, we love to hear from you. We put our address up on the screen right now. Get over them all. If you'd like a free autographed picture, I'd be glad to send one out to you. And maybe you'd like to come down and debate me on the hot seat some Saturday night. Let me know. Maybe I'll invite you if you have the guts to come down and sit on the hot seat and debate me on some particular issue. I doubt you have the guts, but if you do, let me know. Okay. Now, also, we are very very proud within the very next few weeks we are going to be bringing out my own magazine called Victory Magazine and it's, yeah that's it and Janice is my associate editor and, and it's going to be it's going to be crammed full with pictures and stories and, of course, holding up the conservative cause. We want to send you a free issue. It's a quarterly for a whole year. But please, if you'd like to have it sent to you, please send us $10 to cover uh, postage and handling. And we'll send you Victory Magazine to your home for a whole year. Just write to Wally George, P.O. Box 56 TV, Anaheim, California, 92803. Box 56 TV, Anaheim, 92803, okay? And... Uh, uh, we'll put the phone numbers up now. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area anytime, you people here in L.A. or if you're going to be visiting, we would love to have you come down for a taping of Hot Seat. We tape this show every Wednesday evening about 6 o'clock. If you'd like to come down for a taping of Hot Seat, the tickets are free. Just call the numbers on your screen right now any day, Monday through Friday, between 8.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. In the 213 area code, it's 464-6111. Whoa, 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 whoa. 464-6111. And of course, get ready, gang. In the 714 area code, our big number is 999. 5,000! 999! 5,000! 999! 5,000! 999! 5,000! One more time, 999! 5,000! Yeah, right on! Okay. Now, Next, we have on someone that's really, I know, is going to turn my stomach even more than this last Frico. He's known as Mr. Jim. And where do you see him? He is truthfully 
a, a very sick man. He's the leader of a satanic cult. Bring him on. Where is he? Bring him on. Bring him on. Where, where is this? Bring him on. Now you are actually you are actually the leader of a satanic cult. Is, boy. Hey, he looks like he's he's the leader of the seven dwarfs. You will pay a heavy price for your blasphemy. Oh. The true God. Hey, I, the hey. true God will take care of you hey, I, and all of you people. Oh. Don't you dare say hail Satan in this room, you pervert! Hail Satan! Now, do you, do you, hold it. He has spoken to me, and I know the truth. Satan has, has spoken to you? Satan has spoken to me, and he has spoken to millions through the centuries. No, no. Do you actually do you actually head a, a, a satanic cult? That is true, Wally, and I have a mission. And that mission that mission is to teach the truth that Satan is the only God, the all-powerful God, the all-knowing God. He says Satan, he says Satan is the only God. Hey! Hail Satan! You know what? There is nothing worse in this great country of ours than to be teaching or worshiping Satan. Is there? No! There is nothing worse than phony beliefs and false gods. Are, are, are you, like Jesus, like God, are like you, the comic books called the Bible and the Old Testament. Are, are you saying, wait, are you saying, wait a minute, are you saying Jesus and God are phony? They are absolutely untrue. Oh! Myths created by stupid, weak human beings oh, you. who have yet to see the glory of Satan. This, this, you little pervert, is one nation under God. You will learn to love Satan before you die. I will Satan learn. Satan will rule before we die. Before you die. Do you truly? How long have you belonged to this religious, uh, to this satanic cult? Yes, please do not misinterpret my understandings. How, uh, my understandings are Satan rules and he has ruled for centuries and I have become aware of his leadership through the last years of his teaching. How many years have you belonged to this satanic cult? It is none of your business, Mr. George. Hey. You better answer my questions, or I'm going to kick your blasphemous buns out of here. Now, 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 I understand the worst part. Hold on. The worst part of it is I understand that you have been going around recruiting young people, young people, teaching them the truth. Hold on. The truth. You've been recruiting. The truth. Lock them up. Teaching them the truth. To love Satan, to understand his oh. power, his glory. His wonderfulness. He created the universe and he rules it now. Do you know? Do you know something? You and people like you are so repugnant and so repulsive. I would like to kick you out of the United States for the rest of your life. If I have anything to do with it, there will be a new United States. Don't you? I have plans for this United States that you claim to love so much. We are going to move the capital to Salem, Massachusetts. We are going to rip that flag down that you worship so much and replace it with a pentagram flag. Oh, we are going
going to do away with all your churches and convert them into shrines to the glorious one. I want to tell you something. When George Bush is sworn in as president of the United States, I have news for you. You better start running because President Bush is going to get people like you and he is going to he throw is you. He is powerless. He is powerless. He is powerless in the light of the great one, the magnificent one, known through the centuries as being powerful. Even early Christians knew of his power. He was Lucifer, the highest angel. Hold on. You, you are the prince of sickness. I'll be right back. There we are. What is, what is this stupid sign that you keep giving? Hold up your sign. What is that? that I am the son of darkness. Oh. Oh. Hey, he is the son. He, he's the son of stupidity is what he is. No, no, I understand that you all... The truth will reveal itself to disbelievers The like truth yourself. has already revealed itself. You're an idiot. No, I understand that you are... You're a member of the Church of Satan, is that correct? That is correct, sir. Do you do you do you conduct satanic rituals? One of ritual? the few things that you are correct about. Oh. oh. Do you do you con oh, do you conduct satanic rituals? We conduct activities that go along with our religion. Uh, uh, what kind of things do you do? I'm not going to reveal all the details to you and this obnoxious group of disbelievers. Oh. I will Hold tell on, you, though, pal. that we practice the rights that we choose to, and neither you or your right-wing bozos will stop us. Oh. In fact, we will replace you. We will don't, replace you. Don't condemn my eyes, or you're going to go straight to hell, pal. By the way, by the, oh, by the way, are, are, are you prepared to burn in everlasting hell? Are, are you? I am prepared to go where my master sends me. In, in damnation, in burning hell. But that's where you're going. Satan created heaven. Satan created hell. Satan oh. created the universe. If he tells me it is my place, I will go there gladly. Tell me this. Do you know what I understand? I read an article on this guy, and, and I want to ask him if this is true. He says one of his heroes, the people, one of the persons he admires the most, is Charles Manson. Is that there are many people that have been spoken to by Satan? Charles Manson happens to be one. He is a very misunderstood man. Oh. Richard Ramirez, and you, and you are a very, and you are a very misunderstood woman. As is are. the son of Sam, as is the hillside strangler, as was Hitler, all misunderstood. By the way, where'd you get, where'd you get that smock from, Snow White? It is none of your business. You know what? What, what really kills me? You ad admire something will kill you oh. sooner than you think. You will. Don't Go me. unpunished. Don't threaten you me. You will not go unpunished. I, wait, wait. Are, are you threatening my life? I am saying that the master has his way oh. of dealing with ignorant people like you. And like you. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Tell me, do you ever, when you do your, your satanic Rituals? Do you ever do any human sacrifice? Of course not. Although, shh, shh. although, how about yes? There are certain creatures of the earth that would not voluntarily join our activities. Do you get the feeling? Hey, do you get the? Do you get the feeling he's trying to threaten me? Do you? Let's go to the. You audience. will be paid. You will yes, be paid. Yes, yes, yes. As will all other non-believers. Hold it, hold it. Yes, go ahead. Okay. My name is Liz, and I want to know if you're looking forward to burning in hell for all eternity. Well, I am looking forward. Will that make to you happy? Whatever my master sends me. What? Oh, whatever your master does, you're a joke. I laugh at you. Looking Satan. forward to where he sends me is better you're than you looking forward you to your false your beliefs. Fun. You're a weakling. You I laugh. have you're false a joke. beliefs. You believe in a comic book god that does never exist. Oh. Oh.
I like to reiterate. I like the first have word you on your ever, T-shirt. Red. Have you ever? The greatest. Oh, color oh, ever. <laughs> have you ever participated in human sacrifice? How many times do I have to yeah. answer it, bozo? Oh. Of course I have. I am not afraid well, well, what do anything wait, my wait, master directs wait, me to do. Hey, hold on, hold on. If you're not afraid, why won't you tell us some of the things you do do at your ritual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will find out sooner than later, Mr. George. Well, what do you do? He will reveal himself and his ways to all disbelievers within our lifetime. Do you worship? Do you actually get down on, on your knees and worship Satan? I pray to Satan. I bow to Satan. I love Satan. I love Satan. Yes. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Phil. Yes, You're so proud of yourself. Why are you wearing those dark glasses and the hood? What do you got to hide? Yeah. It is true. It is true that I must hide my real identity. For your right-wing fascist society has yet to grasp reality, and there could be ramifications you against want, myself and my followers. Know who you are. Yeah. Hey, you know why? Hell, hey, you know why he's wearing that hood and glasses? He's he's so damn ugly. He doesn't want to show himself. Listen, throughout time, people have known of Satan. People have worshipped him and loved him. Well, I've There's known you no long enough. You can go to hell. You're out of here. Yeah. You will 